sponsored by Helix Sleep, and if ASMR helps you fall asleep, a great mattress will help you stay asleep. Helix Sleep makes premium mattresses and bedding customized to fit your needs, conveniently shipped to your front door, and when I mean your front door, I found my mattress in a box right at my front door. The best part about Helix is that you can get a mattress customized for you. Helix offers a sleep quiz on their website to help you find your perfect mattress, and I'm showing you mine right now. I'm a bit of a side sleeper. I like to toss and turn around, and I like a more medium mattress, and sometimes I get back aches, so they partnered me with the Midnight Lux mattress, which I am laying on right now. I have been using the Helix Midnight Lux mattress for two months now, and let me tell you, this is the best sleep I've ever had in my entire life. This bed is so cozy and fits exactly to what I like to sleep with. I do not get up throughout the night, and I wake up refreshed and alert ready for the day. Helix offers bed frames, and I ordered the natural wood frame. It was so easy to assemble and feels very sturdy and solid. Personally, I can't sleep on a hot bed, and if you're like me, Helix offers an upgrade to the Galcotex cooling cover, which maximizes cooling for your sleep comfort. Helix offers financing options and flexible payment plans and has free shipping in the U.S. Helix also has a 10-year warranty and if it makes you nervous purchasing something that you haven't tried out before, Helix offers a 100-night sleep trial where you have over three months to try the mattress to see if you love it and I promise you, you will love this mattress. So what are you waiting for? Visit helixsleep.com slash Selene to get up to $200 off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. Thank you so much, Helix Sleep, and I hope you have an amazing night. Why? Hello there. Are you here for the eye examination? Yes, this includes the eye exam, a glasses fitting, and the lens 1-2 exams. Perfect timing, and as a nurse seen you. Marvelous, thank you for waiting. I am the eye doctor, <laughs> Dr. Retina. It's a pleasure to meet you today. Yes, I'm just going to take a seat now and we're going to begin your exam. Is that okay with you? Marvellous. So, I was reading your chart here. And it does look like you are in need of a refreshment eye exam so we can update your information. Good. And have you had any troubles at all with your eyes or your perception of sight? Okay. Do you feel like you can see better up close or you can see better afar? Okay. And have you had any troubles at all with your health? in general. Okay, thank you. And just to double check, may I get your name once more? Perfect, and your birthday. I'm just going to type this into the computer. Good. Be 
So 
circular eggs that I have and what they are is it's a uh, eye color assessment to see if you are able to see every possible fluctuation with eye movement and sight yes okay I've written that down now and I'm going to show you a sets of cards I want you first to let me know what shape you are able to identify are you ready I'm going to show you this card and what shape is this to you? If we take a look, it has three angles. So what shape is that? Perfect, it is a triangle. Marvelous. On to the next one. We've got a shape here that is more recognizable. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten separate angles. What is this? This one is a star. Perfect. On to the third one. This is to assess dynamic eye assessment and memory. What is this shape? A circle. Marvelous. That one was quite easy for you, wasn't it? Good. Now on to uh, color assessment. I am someone who has color deficiency. There are colors I am unable to see, such as a very light pink and a light purple. I cannot distinguish the difference between those two. And I have a difference in how I perceive neon colors, such as orange or red. They look the same to me. So it's okay. Are you ready to begin? I want you to let me know when you see this card, what is the uh, associated color? Perfect. This is yellow. Wonderful. On to the next one. We do have a card here which may be a bit more easy. In orange. Marvelous. I do see your eyes getting a bit tired. It is okay to close your eyes for a little bit. And on to the third card. And what is this? This one looks to be money. This one is green. You did amazing. Now I'm going to show you two separate objects. I want you to let me know which one is purple. So, I have two objects here. I want you to let me know which one is purple. Is it in my right hand or my left hand? Take a look. Perfect, it is on your right side. Marvelous. I'm going to ask you to follow the purple egg <laughs> and do not get distracted by the green egg. Okay? Just look at it and focus. This is a focusing test. Are you ready? Let's begin. Look at it and don't get distracted by the green egg. Good. 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 Very good. Perfect. Good. Good. That was amazing. Great results. Thank you so much. Now what I'm going to do is I let your eyes adjust to the eye drops I added. So now I am going to be calculating the distance between your eyes and your pupils. I'm going to ask you to sit very still, okay? This is a easy procedure and then we are going to move on to my favorite part of the exam, which is our lens exam. Are you ready? Perfect. So I'm going to ask you to sit for just two seconds. I'm going to make my adjustments. Looks like we're going to go for perhaps a seven and a half to a nine point two. Looking at around four point two three, four point four. Going to adjust a little bit more to nine 
eyes it looks like your eyes are equivalent with each other which is phenomenal my not wonderful and are you feeling okay right now perfect would you be okay if we proceed along to the next exam so with that information that I found by calculating your eyes we are able to assess what type of glasses and lenses we can place on you and how we can create the perfect glasses for you yes exactly so I'm going to just set this down carefully and right before we begin that I have an exam where I have a tool here and this is actually going for reflexes. Are you ready? Perfect. I'm just going to go carefully close to you. I'm going to ask you to sit still and I want you to let me know if you're able to feel the air just blow on your eye. Okay. Three, two, one. Perfect. One more time. Three, two, one. Good. And under the other eye. Three, two, one. Perfect. Three, two, one. Either four times I've tested, you were able to feel the air just carefully applied to your eye. Perfect. So that is a test to see if your eyes have movement and reflex. So you have nothing else going on. Good. Marvelous. Now where we're going to use the Snellens chart and we're going to test your lenses. So let me show you. I have a magnificent lens kit here and I'm going to just show you. This is what prescription glasses are. And what we have is a sets of lenses in different formats. Each lens has a dynamic appearance and effect on your eyes. I'm going to show you this one and put it right on your eye. This may or may not make your vision better or worse. Correct? Perfect. So you do see. Marvelous. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to apply the lens glasses to your eyes so I can test one or two. This is what they look like. And I'm just going to place this right on your eyes and behind your ears, okay? Good. I'm going to just carefully assess that right onto your eyes. And let me know. Is that comfortable? Good. That's what matters most. So, first thing that is first, I do have to give you one trial lens. And you have to let me know if this lens affects any part of what you see. Are you ready? Let's begin. Let me just add that to the lenses and this is the trial lens. What does this lens make you see? Perfect. So you should be seeing everything in red. Lovely. As they say in French, viewing life through rose colored glasses. Perhaps this one's a bit more red, but you do see. Let me remove those. And are you seeing normally again? Marvelous. So it looks like the trial lens passed. So we are going to test your eyes now. I'm going to go in order of a more of a higher prescription, such as a negative 10. And we're going to go and work lower down the line to a lighter prescription. Is that okay with you? Good. So with the 10 prescription and a concave sphere. You will notice that things in the background might be more visible to you and things in the foreground are more difficult for you to see. Are you ready? Let's begin. Let me know what you see. Is that what you see? Perfect, so it did work. I know that this is not your prescription, but just to make sure that it works. Now let me know which is better. This is one without lens. And this is two. Which is better for you? One or two? One or two? One or two? One. Perfect. So, it looks like you are able 
able to see the difference between normal vision and the lens. Good. This is mostly where I take all my notes. Now, are you ready for the lower prescription? Good. So, I'm going to take two prescriptions now. I'm going to ask you which one looks better, one or two. You ready? Let's begin. What looks better? One or two. Sphere. So that is when the reflect 
active vision gets perceptually better up close due to farther distances. Marvelous. Okay, I'm looking at that. Good. Now we're going to test the opposite, which is known as the convex sphere. So, concave and convex. Let me show you. So, this is the strongest prescription for the convex sphere. This is negative 10. I'm going to ask you to let me know what visuals you see when I apply the lens. Are you ready? Let's begin. So this is the convex sphere. If you can see, you can see quite detailed up close, correct? Yes. And then I'm going to just take a look up close. Exactly. And it looks a little bit more blurry from the background. Is that true? Yes. You do need a mixture of both concave and convex for your lens, so we're going to test your eyes. Are you ready? Let's begin. So, I'm going to pick up separate prescriptions once more. Are you ready? Perfect. Let me know which one is the better vision for you. Are you ready? This is lens one. Lens one. Lens two. Lens one.
going to show you some glasses that I have that will fit the shape of your eyes in comparison to how your pupils are in measurements. Are you ready? Perfect. So, I have a collection right here. And this one, I'm going to just try on all of these lenses onto you to see which one would better shape and frame the face and also the perfect precision with how your eyes are measured. Are you ready? Perfect. I'm going to put that down. And I'm first going to start off with these glasses. All of these are prescriptions and would be given to you as soon as you can assess which one you like the most. Are you ready? Let's begin. So I'm going to hand you a mirror. Here's the mirror. Perfect. And I want you just to look at yourself in the mirror and tell me which glasses do you think make you look the best and make you feel the best. Are you ready? Let's begin. So, I'm going to first just apply these onto your face. Okay. And how do you feel? It is a bit more square, I do see. But I do think that the frame suits your shape of your face well. And it is equal to your pupil size. I'm going to just take that one off now. Good. We're going to move on to the next set. So these glasses I'm going to show you next are a bit more detailed. These ones are designer glasses and these are Louis Vuitton. Yes, so a bit more of the luxurious side, but these will blend in with any kind of clothes that you wear. Good. Let's try these ones on. Okay. And with these glasses, how do you feel? A bit luxurious, yes. These are more of a color assessed frame. The prior one was a black and gold frame. This one is red and clear. Yes, because it is made out of an acrylic polymer. Perfect, yes. Do you like this one? Not so much. Let's try another. So this one's a bit more bold, that's why. If you can actually see, the lens size is 55 in comparison to the other, which was 52. And larger frames sometimes can go a bit more uneasy. I understand. Okay. Let's move on to the third. This one is also designer. This one is Valentino. Yes, quite nice. Again, similar to the first frames, as these ones are, again, a bit more of the square type, but the lengths are a 32. So let's try this on. They even have a turtle shell design. I'm gonna just put this on your face. Take a look in the mirror. Okay, and how do you feel? Look in the mirror. Perfect. So these ones complement you quite well. I do agree. They also make your eyebrows look quite nice. Yes, you like these ones? Okay. I'm going to just take that off of you now and we're going to put this one to the side so that this may be your pair on to the next one so as these ones are designer as well these ones are Gucci and if you can tell with the Gucci glasses we have a cat eye type frame which are a bit more of a centerpiece like a stable glass is not necessarily perfect for every day but definitely something if you want to show that you are, you mean business. Yes, let's try these ones on. Are you ready? Perfect. Now, what do you think about these ones? Yes, they are quite bold. And they do make you look very stunning. I do say so myself, yes. So, do you appreciate the glasses? I know you like these ones, but not good for every day. I understand. Let's just remove them. Good. And then we have one more, which is a staple set of glasses. Most people actually commonly wear these glasses. So these are very common. These are Tom Ford. Very expensive, but these are the, class, the very classic glasses look. If you notice someone wearing glasses, they typically look like this. Let's try these ones on. And I'm going to just apply that to your eyes. And how do you feel? Stunning, right? I know. And they do sit really well on your face. Now you're conflicted which one you're going to choose. Let's try the other ones on so you can choose. Are you ready? Remove that. Good. And then let's try on the prior one, the Louis Vuittons. Are you ready? I'm going to apply that and you let me know which one you like best. Perfect. So you think the other one is better for you. Understandable. Let's remove the glasses. And let's try the Tom Ford glasses on one more. One more.
soon.